conflict for constipation is what is something fresh, something important to my survival I want to hold on to, but I can't. And usually it's a breakup or money. So, you know, how do you, how do you fix constipation that stems from a breakup? Like, ah, I was fine my whole entire, I never had constipation my whole entire life until I broke up with Jimmy. After Jimmy, I've been just constipated off and on. Now, what is the thing we want to hold on to, but we can't? It could be Jimmy. It could be, you know, the money that he provided in the relationship. It could be the house. It could be, uh, you know, something like the friends or his family. Like, what is the thing? Only you can answer this. And a lot of the times you won't be able to consciously answer this. You'll have to observe your symptoms and do a little bit of detective work. So for example, let's say, uh, you know, one week you're fine. Like right after the relationship ended, I was super constipated, but then I got over him. Um, then, then I saw him, you know, dating my sister. So then I remember getting horrible diarrhea. Okay, now he's crap I want to get rid of. But then a few months go by, you know, my symptoms aren't that bad. And then I get really constipated. Why? Because I found her old love note and I remember how awesome Jimmy was. And I was really sad about it for a couple of days. And then I got constipated and then I got bloated and I thought I looked fat. And then I thought to myself, what, what guy would ever want me? I look so fat and bloated. And then that in turn causes your intestinal muscles to hold on to this, to hold on to it even more. What the intestinal muscles are doing is they're expanding and they're clamping shut down here to hold on to this precious thing. And it can change on a dime. You know, I'm joining the number, I'm done with men forever. Diarrhea. Or even on a conflict resolution, you find a new guy that you really like and you get into a relationship and the constipation's gone. But maybe you're traumatized and every time you see this new guy talk to a girl, you get constipated. So we need to look for the patterns in our constipation. And I know that can be difficult. And, and that's why I made uh, my 13 day protocol. It helps you understand, it, a lot of this is just education on how our body and how our subconscious and how a traumatized mind operates. Now, if you go on my bio link, I have this in like a free mini version in an instant webinar, um, but yeah. That's what you do to get rid of constipation. You bring it to consciousness. You know, there is a bit of it that's like, okay, how do I not get so uh, devastated every time a guy rejects me? You know, there's that part of it too. Um, but for a lot of it, I'm just seeing it's just, just bringing it to consciousness. And you had this aha moment. Oh, yeah, first time I got constipated is when we broke up. You kind of get goosebumps a little bit. Like a lot of the times just doing that can break it, but it, it depends for the person.